to then come to the memory clinic with different levels of decline in memory and cognitive functions. So the patients uh, are of also different age groups and uh, they could be either uh, very early in the disease, they could have subjective cognitive decline, they could have mild cognitive impairment or they could have minor or major neurocognitive disorder. As you see, they are all simple um, blood smears. So they take about 50 microliters of blood and then the uh, nurses, they then prepare these very fine and thin blood smears. So the blood smears can't be too thick because they're not very useful for the measurements. Uh, it impedes the stable imaging. So what then we do is make them as thin as possible and then we do the measurements so that we have about a monolayer of red blood cells on the surface of the glass light. A very fine spray, then use this one. It's a typical handheld spray gun and then we spray the fine liquid silicon onto the surface of the, the blood smear. When I get these samples, I only know the samples by their uh, patient identification number that is provided by the hospitals and we do not know the, uh, the clinical conditions of these patients. So the clinical conditions of these patients is only known to the clinicians to whom we provide the data that we get from the AFM measurements that, that, that we then do we're looking at a very nanoscopic scale on the red blood cells and the protein levels and the different types of proteins that is absorbed on these red blood cells. So we measure the surface topographic profile but not the interior content of the red blood cell itself. So it's a, it's a very surface analytic technique.